the Monteith champion chase is next is a handicap 0 to 140 with two miles and six furlong two and three quarter miles Verd Ocean at the top for Darren Thompson New Year's Day Martin Lidham Grand Duet Anthem David Robertson Casherel Martin Lidham Dark Alert Craig Beckwith Nina Di Maguro Padre Hogan Velvet Diamond Graham Clitterbock and Madame May Lynn for Padre Hogan stepping up in class this week is at the bottom and away they go and Dark Alert looks like it's going to be the first one to show at the first and they're all safe here with one or two nods on landing but they're all okay well with Diamond pulling for its head at the back and now New Year's Day has found itself in the lead We're on Dark Alert and Verd Ocean as they get to the second they're still jockey in for position finding out where they actually want to be and dark alert over on the far side on that rail is the leader velvet diamond it looks like he's won the battle with the jockey and it's moving forward into second with on its outside cash around the stripes then comes verd ocean as they take the third which they're all safely over new year's day just dropped to the back but no more than five or six lengths off the lead Lead is held by Dark Alert. And it looks like he's going to be the one to take them along as they get over the fourth. And as a four, then Nina de Maguro has gone. So one of Padraig's two out. And Dark Alert is in the lead. From Madame Maylin in second. And Verde Ocean third. Casherel fourth. Grandoid Anthem on the outside is fifth. And then Velvet Diamond. Is behind them and the back marker a couple of lengths adrift is New Year's Day. And it's Dark Alert. It's got a lead of three lengths. And they come into this ditch and the leader stood off it and he's gone. He didn't give the jockey any chance at all there that one. He stood right off it. And the jockey goes out the side door. So we've lost two now. And Dark Alert, the second of them to go. And that's left Grandoet Anthem in the lead so Grandoet Anthem's in front then from Madame May Lynn in second on the inside of Verd Ocean Cash around his next as they get over the next and this time it was Velvet Diamond who made the mistake they've still got quite a long way to go in this they've got another circuit of the track ahead of them as they come up past the enclosures and Grandoet Anthem is in the lead from Cash around on his outside and Verd Ocean on his inside they pass the winning post and a full circuit of the Kelso track to go and Grandoet Anthem is back in third Velvet Diamond is back in fourth then Madame May Lynn, and then finally New Year's Day of the sixth that remain as they get over the seventh it's Cacherelle who's now pulled through into the lead being pre preceded by a loose horse Verd Ocean is in second Grandoet Anthem is now back in third, then Velvet Diamond moved through into fourth, Madame Maylin and New Year's Day at the back as they head towards the next is this loose horse going to get in the way, jumped it nicely the loose horse, in fact they all jumped it nicely that time and it's Casherelle who continues to lead from Verne Ocean in second, New Year's Day is in third, Grandoet Anthem is fourth and then a gap to the back two as they get over that next one this time it was New Year's Day's turn to take a lunge at it but got away with it and stable companion Casherelle continues to lead by about a head from Verd Ocean and New Year's Day as they get over that next one. Now New Year's Day is coming through on the outside to take it up. They're inside the final mile and it's New Year's Day in the lead. Verd Ocean, Casherelle, Madame May Lynn is after that. Grand Win Anthem and then Velvet Diamond. They're all still in with chances as the leader cuts across to the fence and they turn there to come towards this cross fence and it's New Year's Day who's in the lead. This is the 11th. It's the 4th from home and it's New Year's Day who landed in the lead from Madame May Lynn and Verd Ocean. Casherelle back in fourth. Then Grandoet Anthem is fifth and Velvet Diamond is the back marker. They're coming down towards the final three then now. And New Year's Day is in the lead by two to Madame Maylin. Over that one, New Year's Day jumped it well and got away from it well. Madame Maylin is in second. Verd Ocean third. Grandoet Anthem fourth. Then Casherelle and Velvet Diamond. The loose horse on the inside of the leader is just hampering them a little as they swing towards home. There's two more fences to take. And it's New Year's Day who's in the lead with the loose horse for company. Then comes Madame Maylin, Verd Ocean, Grandoet 
the way down from Velvet Diamond coming around the outside. Cash around looks like the only one beaten. New Year's Day is coming back to them now as Grand Away Anthem and Velvet Diamond come through to challenge. But it's New Year's Day. He's got past the loose horse. He's now racing down towards the second last fence. It's New Year's Day on the inside. Gets over it nicely. Slower jump from Velvet Diamond. Grand Away Anthem is next. Vern Ocean's trying to run on. New Year's Day is still in front coming down towards the final fence then now. And they're coming down to the final fence in the Monteith Champion Chase. And it's Mon New Year's Day in the lead from Velvet Diamond in second. Then Vern Ocean and Grand Away Anthem over the final fence. They go the leader was over it slowly. He's still in front though, but here comes Velvet Diamond and Vern Ocean. New Year's Day still in front from Velvet Diamond, who's trying to close. New Year's Day sticking his head out. Velvet Diamond is trying to get closer. New Year's Day is hanging on. New Year's Day from Vern Ocean. And he's going to just hang on and take it. I think it's going to be close. It's going to be a hit. But we're so fast past that post. New Year's Day and Velvet Diamond. Grand Away Anthem was back in third. And then Madame May Lynn after that. It's close. It's very close. New Year's Day, I think, has got up and won it. And the New Year's Day takes it for Martin Leedham. Velvet Diamond was second for Graham Clutterbuck. Third Ocean for Darren Thompson was third. And Grandewin Anthem for David Robertson was fourth. With Madame Maylin for Padraig Hogan, fifth.